Yo, what's going on guys, Manny here, and welcome back to another episode of Sunday League with Under the Radar FC. Today, we have a massive game for you against Jam in the London Cup. We haven't really shown what we can do in the London Cup, and today is an opportunity to advance onto the quarterfinal. Will we take it? Before we get into that though, there is a flashback of the last time we played against Jam. Uh, take a look at this. Uh, we're almost at 90, uh, 100 minutes, sorry, of being played. And uh, that's a long, long time. It's a throw in from Jam into centre back there. And the referee blows his whistle. UTR won the President's Cup final. But if I'm going to be brutally honest, it's one of those that on another day that definitely goes against us. If Jam take those chances, they could have killed the game off. But as I said before, you have to take your chances. And if that's not enough for you, the full highlights are on this YouTube channel, UTR against Jam in the Cup final. Uh, not for the first time either. On to last week's man of the match now, and it's a tight one. It's between Sam, who scored a hat-trick, and uh, Mike's as well, who got a goal and two assists in that game. But because of the nature of his assist, uh, and because he actually tracked back, I'm going to give it to Mike's. Uh, this time so Max is last week's man of the match anyway the lineup for this week is like this in goal we're gonna have the big man John right back filling in for us is tops We've got Ben at center back Tolu next to him and Reggie at left back in midfield we have George myself and Eric returning it's been a while then your front line is Sam Junior and Thomas to lead the way giving us a bench of Benny Brad Fred Myro and Noah Listen, boys, I want you to understand that this is another game that we take as a cup final. Why? Because London Cup is the only, the only game that we ever come out early when we shouldn't have come out. The, the only one. No regrets today. Leave everything on that pitch. It's our tempo, our game. We set everything. I need you to remember that. London Cup is one where we've never really done ourselves justice. So. Today, the weather's nice, it's a good day for football. Let's do ourselves some justice, man. Let's talk to each other, communicate well. Uh, but most of all, let's want it. Because I feel like when we lose games, it's not because the other team's better than us, it's because we haven't wanted it enough on the day. So it's about getting around each other, wanting it, sharing some passion, because that's what you need in the UK. And um, yeah, no, just going all, all out, leaving everything on the pitch. What a day for it. We're in the white strip today. Uh, it's on the Astro, it's a sunny day. We should be able to play. Uh, and we're hoping we can do just that. Eric finally returning. He's uh, returning from a back injury, which has kept him out for a while. But hopefully he can jump back in just like he's never been away. Uh, Jam in the green and white. And uh, they're gonna be pumped for this game. Let's see what it brings. Eventually the referee sorted out all he needs to sort out and uh, we are underway. London Cup, a chance for the quarterfinals and it would be the furthest we've made it in this competition if we go through. Jam with a throw-in taken by Oscar, uh, our fives manager, and uh, he's playing for Jam. Most of you will know that by now anyway. As, uh, it's been cleared away, but it's gonna come out to the tricky number 10, loves a twist and a turn. Moves it off eventually and uh, plays it into, I think that's 14, I can't really see his number. Eric does well to win the ball back for us and UTR could be on a counter attack. It's now here with Thomas, tries to reverse it. Not come off this uh, occasion here with uh, Reggie goes to the one two a junior lets it run it comes over here to Eric plays it into George can he get back Eric gets it uh, plays it through there for Thomas to chase that's good covering from the man with the red undershirt so that gives UTR quite an early corner junior searching deep for the back post keeper comes out George don't know too much about it Tolu can't connect cleanly and they should be able to get rid of this ball a long one up to the big target man who always causes quite a few problems he gets quite a couple of uh, quite a few goals against us as he's battling there with Eric, it's a tough battle there. Junior does well to bring the ball back to UTR, but going to run into a bit of trouble. And this could be a chance for Jam to get an early shot on target. But we've got numbers back. We've done pretty well. Uh, comes here again to one of the Jam shirts, plays it into the big man. They're still trying to make something out of this. Look, he's, he's a unit, honestly. Getting the ball off him is a mission. Tries to get a shot off there. It's blocked and Reggie can get cleared. It's been a really scrappy start to the game so far. Ben nods it down to tops. He's caught in possession, though. And uh, Jam can bring it up pitch once more. It's with the left back now. Plays into the 10. Uh, he's got quick feet. We know that. Takes a shot with the left foot. It's a good save with the legs like David De Gea by John. Ben's uh, on the ball, given quite a bit of space and time. Eric lets it run nicely. Comes out here to Reggie. Uh, Reggie tries to get some footwork going there and plays it down the line into the space for Eric. Not going to get there. It's deflected. It comes here to Junior. Junior does well to spin his man. And oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. What have I just seen? 
And I have to say, this is the first time that I've actually seen it. Oh my goodness. That is outrageous. I actually didn't see this on the day. I think when I heard about it on the day, it's like they said uh, the 15 or whatever tried to jump over. But that is outrageous. That is intentional. That is disgusting. And that is unforgivable, in my opinion. I, I don't know their manager on the side. Seen it. Reggie seen it first. And I, and I don't know how the reaction isn't worse. But he's getting away with a yellow card here. And Junior's coming off the pitch injured at the moment. I have to take another look at this. I have to take another look at this. I'm so sorry. Like, that is actually outrageous. That's disgusting. Like, I get it. You want a battle and all that. But that is intentional. And if, I, if Junior's leg is in a certain way, I reckon that's a leg breaker. That is crazy, and I, a guy, that, that's not good enough. Thankfully, it's not as bad as we first feared, as uh, Sam's delivery is cleared away by Oscar, comes here, out to Ben, tries to keep it into the box, but he's just going to let it go out from the front. The very, very lucky boy. Uh, he's back on the pitch, though, and he's beckoning for a ball into the box. Ben delivers it, goes for the acrobatic. I'm surprised he was even able to pull off the action after that, but goes over the bar. Reggie receives it. Oscar closing him down. Plays it into Junior. Back out to Reggie. He's been clicked again. Reggie coming forward once more. Uh, looking for a pass into the space. Finds me. Try and play it in behind here for Junior. Good defending. The pass probably could have done with a little bit more as well. Junior's ball into the box. Punched away by the goalkeeper. I race the ball between myself and uh, the man in the red undershirt. And the decision goes towards Jam for the throw. Almost 20 minutes have been played. This was topped now. Tries to play it down the line for Sam. It's cut out by the left back. It's uh, bounced very awkwardly here. Falls to the big striker and he's let it fly. He's absolutely let it fly. He's doing the Rashford celebration as well. Oh my goodness. To be honest, you have to always give credit where credit is due. That is an absolute strike. I'm not sure how much John could have done about it. The moment he sees that, in his sights, he's always going to let it fly. We know that from playing against him. He pretty much almost tried the same thing in the final against us, but John saved it. This time, John, no chance. So we've got to get going again. Reggie will throw. Oh, I've got the ball caught under my feet. That's really poor from me there. Uh, 15, who shouldn't really be on the pitch, driving forward. Uh, plays it into the other striker. I've done well to win possession back. But uh, here's a bit of miscommunication between myself and Ben. I was unsure of whether I should have cleared that one or not. And I made the mistake there. But thankfully, it comes to nothing. Tolu on the ball. Uh, plays it to my feet. Uh, spot Junior in between the gaps there. Uh, Junior looking to break away, been clipped again. Eric keeps it going, but the referee pulled it back. They're committing a lot of fouls at the moment. Junior able to take this one. It's floated into the box, but straight towards the keeper's direction. A long high kick taken by their goalkeeper. This man's allowed to bring it down. Tussling for the ball with George. George has pulled him back a bit. The referee's going to point one way. A free kick midway through our half then. Uh, clipped, looking for the back post. The runner's left free. John tries to parry it, but only into the path of their striker. And that is 2-0 to Jam. It's, uh, yet again, another poor goal to concede for us. And uh, yeah, we've got to do better. We, we, we just look all over the place at the moment. Myself included, but we've left someone free at the back post. John can't get enough on it to push it away. And uh, we're just too slow to react in there. Things are definitely not looking good as Tops is driving in field there. Tries to play it onto Sam, he's been caught late. The referee's pulled this back for a UTR free kick. Gonna end up in just a talking to at the moment from the number six after a couple of fouls. Sam on the free kick then, whips it left footed hard and low into the box and uh, Ben's shot there is deflected. Came for a load of bodies there. Corner for UTR, can we get back into the game? We need a goal and we need it quick. It's a poor corner, we've gone for the short option despite having plenty of bodies in the box and they're on the counter attack and we've got a man free over on the inside. It's the number 10, his touch is a bit loose but he keeps it alive, going to the number nine. Uh, UTR really can't afford to concede another goal there and that's well done from Reggie. So George just played this into me, I've lost it there, been really sloppy in possession in this first half myself. Uh, Eric there, good work against the big man to win it and he's been clipped by number 10, that's a UTR free kick. Just over half an hour played, I'm standing over this free kick, we're lined up outside the box and it's played deep into the box. Jumping with the goalkeeper there is Reggie and it goes towards goal, but there's a huge, huge question mark over that. 
as the goalkeeper had two hands on that before Reggie gets his head to it. That's what they're protesting, and I think they have a very good shout. Uh, Tolu's claiming the goal as well. Is there a shout for offside in there? This could be the most dubious goal we've scored in a while. It's the ball into the box. Keeper's jumping. I think he's got his hands on that first, and I think if that stands, we're very, very lucky. And the goal stands actually after them protesting it for quite a while. That junior's been caught there again this time by Oscar. And he's in the wars so far this game. They've continued play on. The referee pulled it back and uh, they're not happy with that decision at all. We've just cleared our lines. Uh, it comes to their skipper who puts it straight back into the mixer. And uh, the 11 with a blatant foul there on George. Not sure what you think of that, but it was pretty obvious. It's um, here with Ben who plays it onto Tolu. Uh, Tolu went to George. George assessing his options. His foot gets caught in the turf and it's a late challenge there from George. Their manager's fuming straight onto the pitch to appeal that one. Their players right around the referee. And I think they've reacted worse than we did for the challenge on uh, Junior. That goes to show if we, we need to get around the ref and let him know that something way worse has happened. Uh, but George this time, you can see his uh, left foot just gets caught in the turf there. And he makes a lunging challenge, which is always a foul. He escapes just to talk into him. So then, another free kick for Jam, a chance to get again looking for that back post sort of area. It's a ball back into the box, I've left my man and uh, oh, we're looking for an offside but I have to say we're lucky myself very much so as he puts that over the bar. Number 10 on the ball, uh, UTR shirts lined up in front of him, doesn't seem to be going anywhere, we're trying to force him back but that's a clumsy challenge there from Sam, totally unnecessary and one of clear frustration. We know what area they're going for. Uh, looking for the skipper at the back post. Reggie's done well to get the first ball. Oscar jump in there of Eric. Thomas smacks it clear. It's been a really weird game for us. We haven't been able to get our key players into the game. We've been uh, pretty inconsistent all over the pitch and we've given away possession and been too slow uh, with it multiple times. It's this time the Lions kicked it away and it earns himself a caution. Jam with the ball, trying to fizz one into the striker's feet. It's George who's cut out really well and he's got Eric in a bit of room. Eric lets his touch run a little bit loose, but the referee's going to pull it back for a foul on George. From that, can we play quickly? Something we haven't done many times this half. It's Ben out to tops, uh, tops into the feet of Sam. Sam able to wriggle away from the left back there. He's driving towards the box. Can he make something happen? Wins us a corner, much needed. Sam goes over to take this corner from the right. Left foot in swinging and uh, it goes into the front post. I'm able to get my head to it there. And despite having a pretty shocking first half performance, been all over the place really, just looking really jaded, I'm able to get a goal. It's kind of like on FIFA, when you've been having a bit of a bad performance, you're out of position, you're at a 4.55 rating, and you just get yourself a goal out of nothing. They couldn't stop it on the line, and it's 2-2. Game on. <laughs> We've just uh, put one back uh, into their box and George trying to challenge for the ball there. Been totally upended by the left back. Do you guys think that could have been a penalty? I, I mean, I have seen those given and I have seen those waved on. But it's a bit of dangerous play there, just leaning his back into George's and uh, it's not a nice fall for him. Just inside our half, number 10 searching for a ball into the 11, a plus one pass, looking to get away from Tolu. Good challenge there from Tolu. Gonna come back out to the left back, that cuts it into 11 who's already gotten a goal this game sets it back to the edge of the box and oh wrong sport wrong sport eric lays this one off to george george here to reggie reggie he gets his feet caught there a bit muddled up it's been the story of our first half as the nine wriggles his way through there reggie commits the foul right on the edge of the box he's already scored one screamer can he add to it wraps it round the wall john gets down to his left and it's a good save they go to take the corner number 10 can't beat the front post eric wins the first header there is the man in the undershirt jumping there. John comes out. Uh, ben tries to clear it, loses his foot in a bit, and George clears it. The referee's blown his whistle anyway. I'm not sure if he's given a foul or what, but actually, no, that's the half time whistle. Pretty weird first half. We haven't gotten out of first gear, and we have a lot of work to do. We are lucky to be coming in at 2 2. What I think it was is we were slow to start the game in terms of our energy, our intensity, and our mental thinking was very, very slow. On the ball, it's like we were scared to play. And then we let them go two up, and then we realise we have a game. That cannot happen. 
This second half has to be 10 times better. Going into the second half and turning up late with good reason uh, is Brad. Tops has done us a favour by sticking in at right back and his first game back as well. Difficult thing to do, uh, but now we have Brad on the pitch. Into the second half and uh, Brad's just lifted one for uh, Jam to defend there. I'll try and keep it alive by flicking it over to Thomas's cut out. Comes back here to me. Little one two between myself and Eric. He's continued his run. We find another option. It's in here to Sab. Close it, spins, goes to ground. And yet again, that man's committing another foul right on the edge of the box. The jam keepers positioned as wall. I think it's a wall of five. They've got a man ready to take that run on the overlap there as well. Sam steps up, left footed, wraps it around the wall, and it goes all the way in. Gives UTR the lead, and he's telling them to calm down. The time wasted a bit at 2 0. And will they live to regret that? It's 3 2 to UTR. We've taken the lead, and uh, we finally seem to have gotten out the dirt. Sam steps up. You know when he takes it on his left foot. There's going to be a problem. There's danger in sight. And it's proved to be the same here. Never really too far away from a goal as Reggie lifts this one back into the air. It's hit the face of that guy there. Uh, comes down. Eric's uh, won the ball for us. Comes to Thomas. He's been dragged by the number six, I think that is. It's a UTR free kick. He's done it once. Can he do it again? Nope. This time it's wide of the target. And it comes into me. Play it onto Eric. Nice little turn there. Left that man wanting. He plays it out wide to Sam. Uh, Sam has Brad on the overlap. Looks to cut inside. We find another pass. He's brought to ground there by. The number 15, and it looks like it's been a long time coming. Should have been sent off for the first challenge, but he's going now to second yellow. Thomas waves him goodbye, and uh, yeah, a little bit clumsy from him there. If he's on a yellow, he's got to stay on his feet, and he hasn't done so. He's always going to get sent off there. Uh, Sam cutting inside, passes the ball off, and uh, yeah, brings him down. So, referee has finally sent him off. I'm going to take this free kick now, playing it into the box towards the back post. Holly's arriving late, and uh, he can't get it goalwards. Unlucky. UTR sub, Ben coming off the pitch now. Noah coming into his place, going to jump into midfield. George will go to centre back. Jam looks to switch this one here. Uh, out to the left back, the number three tries to control it. Bradley with a neat little back heel, almost gets us into trouble. That's a nice touch from Sam to get away. A beautiful pass to spray uh, the ball. Uh, Junior, one on one now. Can he take this man on? Can he cut inside and maybe let a shot off? Oscar, good tracking, good tackle. Noah spreads this out to Bradley. Uh, can he get the return ball? Looks to do so, flicks it around the corner. The flick's not quite come off. The captain reads it. Thomas, good work from him though to win the ball back. Ball UTR, can Bradley make something happen there? Uh, plays it into Thomas, back out here to Noah. Noah one on one with the red undershirt. He's brought to ground. Easy decision, that's a free kick. Sam on this one, left footed into the box. Misses Reggie, uh, gonna drop down here to the number 10. Junior does well to win the ball for us and he gets his body in front. A dangerous place to be on the ball for Junior at the moment. They've, they've had it in for him this game. He's able to get away with this one. Uh, comes here to Sam. Sam looking to maybe let a shot off. Uh, decides not to do so, but gets the pass to go a little bit wrong on this occasion. UTR long throw taken by Brad. Uh, Tolu and Thomas in the box. Drops here to Thomas. Trying to find room for a shot. A little bit scrappy here with the skipper. He's tripping over the ball. Everyone seems to be tripping. He's sold a dream to the red undershirt there, Thomas. But he haven't been able to fashion an opportunity from it. That's going to be his last action of the game as well. Uh, just over the hour mark, Benny's coming into the fray. And uh, Thomas did his bit when he was needed. Couldn't really get him into the game, but it is what it is. Oscar on the ball for Jam. Plays it infield. They've missed it there. Remember, they're down to 10 men. Eric with a shove on the number 10 there has gone to ground. The referee gives the free kick. He claims a foul. Eric claims this muscle. That free kick taken from just inside their half. Bradley going to get his head to it first. Got here for Eric. Uh, actually, no, it's going to be pulled back or offside. It's at the back of Tolu. Tries to get Eric. It's a little bit short the pass there, but he's won the ball back for us. Comes here to Noah. Takes it nicely. Gets away from Oscar. He's been clipped, pulled back. That's a free kick. Another change. Surprise, he's lasted this long. Junior's done well. He's uh, coming off the pitch now in place of Fred. Miles on the ball. Number 10 for Jam. Always using those tricky feet, but he's lost it. He's been surrounded by UTR shirts and Benny can start a break for us as uh, he's got Noah on the overlap, Sam in the box, draw Fred at the back post but he gets uh, the delivery wrong on this occasion. It's a loose touch in midfield, races the ball, gonna get there first, flex out wide here to Noah, Noah being chased by the man with the red undershirt and it's just yet another foul. Sam on the delivery, it's a low one, 
captain gets rid of it. They've played one into the box, comes to the number 11. Remember, he's already been on the score sheet, looking to get maybe a second uh, goal contribution there. George, looking really tight to him, needs to be careful not to give away a penalty here. He's able to get his cross uh, all the way across the box, but go out for throwing. Another sub, Myro now on the pitch in place of Sam. Uh, we're only 3-2 up, we need to see this game out though. Uh, Myro can maybe help us get another goal in this. Fred on the ball on the left side, tries to play it to Noah. Gets a bit of jab, using his speed there, Fred. Cuts it back here to Benny, takes a touch, second to shoot. And that's a good reaction save from the keeper. Benny though, sort of kicked it straight in his path. They're down to 10 men, but they're still battling. Uh, 11 up against Reggie there, getting into the box. Uh, takes it down the line, cuts it across, it's all the way through. Comes here to the man of uh, making the run from midfield. Can't really see the numbers on their shirt, but he's put it high over the bar. Fred on the ball, uh, bringing it up the pitch for UTR. Not long left until we reach the 90th minute. And uh, Fred does well, plays it through to Benny. Benny surely one on one with the goalkeeper. No, he's one on one with the defender. He's cut back. Maybe he's overdone it here. Benny takes it to the left on his left foot, able to find the bottom corner. And coming off the bench, gets his goal. Great run in there. Good pass from Fred. <laughs> totally flying into Benny there. Bradley likewise. But Benny gets his goal, and it's a very, very good goal on his left foot into the bottom corner. Or two, and surely that is game done for UTR. Fred does well initially to carry the ball up the pitch, something that we didn't really do in the first half. Benny cuts it back. You think maybe the chance is gone, but he's able to size up the defender, take it to his left, and place it into the bottom corner. Or two. <laughs> We've won a game when Eric starts to pull this stuff out there. Uh, tries the reverse pass. It comes off. Little turn away from that guy there. Play it into Myro. Uh, Myro surely. Oh, he's not kept it on. Myro, we need to see the burners. Bouncing in the air. Eric looks like he's fighting against his twin with the no number on his shirt. Comes down to me. Gonna play it to Eric. Little turn away from the guy in the orange boots, red undershirt. And finally, he gets a yellow card. From that free kick, Myro fancies his chances, goes for it, it's moved a bit, but the keeper gambles it. On this near side, comes out here to Eric. Eric stop and start, gets away from the 14, tries to flip flap and let it go. You know, when he starts pulling out that stuff, you know that we're winning. Surely the game should be done at any moment now. Get another clumsy foul on Noah. Look who's missing it on the sideline. Tobes, look at him, he's such a bitty. But when you're in the side men, you don't have enough time to play football, that's what it is. <laughs> Free kick just inside our half. I'm gonna switch it out here to Myro. Can he control it? Beautiful control, brings it down nicely. Up against Eno here, the man in the red undershirt I've been uh, referring to him as. Uh, as Myro does well, plays it to Noah. Noah back to Eric. Eric has uh, Noah out wide, decides to go to Myro. Little reverse pass, this is beautiful from UTR now. Surely we can get a fifth here. Myro with the cut back and it's not uh, good enough there on his right foot. He gets it a little bit wrong, but it's good build up play. Anyway, there it is. The referee blows his whistle. And despite a very, very cagey first half, questionable first half from a lot of us, we've uh, come out with the result. And 4-2 uh, is the final scoreline. Game done. We are through the quarterfinal of the London Cup. That second half was night and day of our first half because we controlled the ball. We controlled the tempo of the game and it was easier for us to build. But was that a convincing win? No. It's about switching on immediately when you get onto that football pitch. Because that's, because that's what's, what actually killed us. So yeah, that is it for this week's Sunday League. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And also on that challenge, what do you guys think? I think that's one of the worst challenges I've seen in Sunday League by far. But yeah, until next time, guys, subscribe. Check out the content on the UTR channel. Follow all our socials. And also check out the new series, Winner Takes All, that takes place on this channel once a week. It's very, very funny. That's it from me, though.